It's been 10 years since Honda discontinued the last Transalp after a quarter of a century building middleweight adventure bikes bearing that name. For 2023, the Honda Transalp is back, and unlike its slightly soft forebears, the new bikes on paper specifications give it everything it needs to dominate its category. There's no better way to track the changes in how the adventure bike market has developed over the last few decades than to trace the way the Transalp has mutated. In 1986, the original Transalp was launched as the 583cc XL600V, sporting a three-valve V-twin with 50 horsepower and predating the more hardcore original Africa Twin, a Euro model, unlike the current open-class Africa Twin, which would initially arrive in 1988 with a 647cc twin before a hike to 742cc in 1990. Over the years, the Transalp would get capacity hikes to 647cc in 2000 and 680cc in 2008, but it never topped the 60 horsepower mark. Fast forward to today and the Transalp is revived, this time with the 755cc 4-valve per cylinder Unicam parallel twin that debuted a few weeks ago in the CB750 Hornet. Now called the XL750, the Transalp makes the same 91 horsepower as the Hornet, which is around 50% more powerful than the best any of its predecessors could achieve. And yet, it's still a stepping stone toward the open-class Africa Twin, which is now a 1,084cc 101 horsepower machine. The Unicam engine follows the current Africa Twins template, borrowing the cam system that proved itself in competition in the CRF450R motocross bike. A single camshaft acts directly on the intake valves and opens the exhaust valves via rockers, with the aim of creating a lighter, more compact engine while retaining the high revving, high power abilities of a DOHC design. It's high revving for a parallel twin, with peak power arriving at 9,500 rpm with a 10,000 rpm redline. For contrast, the Suzuki V-Strom 800DE, launched the same day as the new Africa Twin, has only 82 horsepower from its own brand new 776cc DOHC Twin. Like the new Suzuki V-Strom and the Yamaha Tenere 700 that's surely its main target, the Transalp uses a 270-degree crankshaft for a V-twin mimicking throb and improved torque delivery. The ride-by-wire 46mm throttle bodies allow five riding modes, each combining different settings for the throttle map and engine power, engine braking, traction control, and wheelie control. The first four modes are pre-programmed, settings are sport, standard, rain, and gravel, while the fifth can be set up to personal preference, allowing riders to pick from four power maps, five traction control settings, and three engine braking modes. Although Honda has yet to announce the price of the Transalp, even in Europe, it's easy enough to get an idea of its target. The CB750 Hornet, which shares many of the same components, is priced just below Yamaha's MT-07 in markets where both bikes are offered, even though the Honda is a substantially more powerful machine. So, logically, Honda should position the Transalp in the same price bracket as the Tenere 700. North American plans for the bike are unclear at the moment, but given the value of the ADB market, surely Honda will be bringing the Transalp here once production gets underway next year.